Hi DIY friends, today we are diving into the very best IKEA hacks and organization ideas for your whole house, even for the craft room. From the best products to full-blown builds, I've packed this video full of the best tips and tricks no matter your skill level, and we're getting started right now. Hi again, my name is Shannon. I wanna welcome you here to my channel, The Daily DIYer. And if you love Ikea, then you definitely wanna click the link that I have up in the corner of your screen. And I'll also link it down below too, so you can watch it after this video. But I have tons of Ikea hacks and ideas. I love Ikea. I am no stranger to this amazing store. They have some great organization products that are very affordable and versatile. But if you don't have an Ikea, you can use this video as a reference and find similar products at retail stores like Walmart and Target too. But first, I want to point out a few items that are my favorite finds. If you happen to come across these white plastic bins, grab these. They are so worth it. They are great quality. If anything spills, they will protect your cabinets that they're sitting in. I use them in my craft room a lot, but they're great for the bathroom and even the kitchen. And speaking of kitchen, that is where we are going to start today. We have lots of items in our kitchen, but specifically this coffee bar. I've had this buffet for years now. And even though it has seen a lot of changes in the past, the constant has always been that buffet. Great quality. The baskets in there are from Ikea too. Love it. Been a great piece in addition to our kitchen. But in addition to that, these mesh bags are great from Ikea too. Great price point. Great to keep in your car, store vegetables in, keep handy. I also love these glass bottles. They're only a dollar each. A lot of these things are great and versatile to use in your craft space too, which is what I do. I love these little spice jars, but I also keep beads and safety pins and things like that in them too in my bedroom, in the bathroom to keep stuff handy. I also love these metal containers. Again, great for all over your house, specifically made for the kitchen, but great for the craft room too, or even on a vanity. Also, these are the cheapest Tupperware things that I've found. Only a dollar or two, great quality, and you can use them all over the house as well. And then the biggest Ikea hack in our kitchen is this pantry that we recently custom built. And it is actually a space that we converted. It used to be kind of an entryway organization area with a bench for shoes and jackets and backpacks. But we decided we were going to hack these Ikea Grimo, if that's how you pronounce it, doors to create a custom pantry, which is much, much needed storage that we needed in our kitchen. So we had a very small space to kind of work in. So we used one by eights to create a custom size pantry with those Ikea doors. And so we basically built a box, installed the Ikea doors on it, and then installed it onto that wall permanently, added shelves. And if you're looking for a more detailed tutorial on how we built this pantry. I will link that video with a full tutorial down in the description box below. But let me tell you, it is amazing what a custom built pantry will add to your kitchen space. We were so desperately needing this and we are so glad we built this and did this Ikea hack. The doors are soft closed. We also use the hinges from Ikea as well as the handles for this is from Ikea too. So you kind of got a sneak peek there. Even inside the pantry used items from Ikea for organization. These little pop top containers were great. I decided to use those for pasta and for cereal and labeled those too, which was nice and just used some vinyl for that. Uh, which you'll see here shortly, but also Ikea has these great glass airtight containers. I use these for a lot of staple pieces for the kitchen from flour, sugar, pancake mix, and also they have these wooden plate racks that I use for seasoning packets and that kind of thing. But this whole pantry you can see holds a lot more than you'd ever think. It is very tall. We have nine foot ceilings and this is about 90 inches tall and it just has been a game changer for our kitchen. 
And another kitchen item is this island from Ikea that we have actually used not in the kitchen. We actually use this in my crafting space. You can see there were shelves on the front, the back you can put chairs, and it's perfect for my crafting space, basically because I like to stand while I'm crafting, so you have that counter height. And then you also have the additional storage on the front with those shelves and it's big enough that you have a nice big work surface on top to craft on. Then behind that island, I also paired it with these Ikea bookcases that also have drawers in the bottom. So it gave me a lot of versatility when it came to adding my craft supplies. So I put the pretty things up on the shelves and then anything that wasn't particularly pretty or that I just needed to keep handy and but still tucked away, I put in those drawers beneath. I also have a video with more details on this space, so make sure to check that out after this video. I have recently added to this space as well. I found these Alex carts that are on wheels. They have lots of drawer storage and decided to add this into this space for even more storage. I really love it next to my island there. You can see the top holds items, so I have a carousel that holds some paintbrushes and tools for crafting and my heat press. But inside those drawers are a lot more crafting supplies, which I love too. If you actually go up and over my crafting space, I have a loft and up there is my kiddos hangout spot. So I even have this Brimness TV cabinet up there for them. I love it because it holds so much. So it not only has drawers, but we also purchase baskets to go in the little shelves to hide things. So this is a huge cabinet, great, great price point, great, quality and has been a great addition to my kiddos loft and hangout space. Now we're going to head into my office and here I have lots and lots of Ikea things actually. The first thing is this filing system that you saw on the wall off to the left over my desk. Love this. Great price point again, they're metal, so they're great quality. I paired them with some really cute file folders that I found at the craft store. So that kind of dressed it up and made it cute, but also very functional. Then also in my office, I have lots of storage and I have on those shelves a Ikea basket along with these glass carafe. I don't know if that's what, I don't know if that's how you say it correctly, but I think they're mainly for the kitchen, but I love them because they were glass so I could see inside them. So I keep things like wood beads, clothes pins. They're a pretty good size and I really like the cork detail on the top, a nice storage option for your craft room or in your kitchen. I also really love these hanging bars. They are so, so cheap. The little plastic buckets are only 99 cents and they slide onto this rail system. I have this over my counter countertop to keep other crafting supplies handy while I'm working at my counter. And then this counter system below is a big, big Ikea hack. The countertops are also from Ikea along with the drawer units. They are from the Ikea Nordly collection, I guess is how you say it. You can configure these in different ways, which I really liked. They're good, big, uh, drawer system. So what we ended up doing is building our own base for these and then of course building each one of these box systems or drawer systems and then configuring them, installing them onto that base unit. But also I wanted to mention too, we built these out from the wall so that way we had this, the right depth for our countertops. So I do have a full tutorial on all the details of how we built this unit. If you want to check out this video, this is kind of the shortened version, but you kind of get the idea of how we hacked some Ikea drawers and also the Ekbakken uh, countertops, which I highly recommend. They are a laminate countertop, but they have that marble, really trendy look with them and they are so cheap. They're less than $100. They come in a couple different lengths. So this, I use this not only on this unit, but also on my desk. It's a really pretty look and I love the way this Ikea hat came together. There is so much storage in these drawers and I like that everything can kind of have its own drawer. So I have an adhesive drawer. This drawer here is still kind of trying to find a purpose with just an extension cord. But I've even found that you can use these different plastic 
dividers from Ikea inside those drawers, inside of your kitchen drawers. Those are really handy too. Let's completely switch gears and talk about the closet. So these baskets or boxes, I should say, from Ikea are one of my favorites. They have kind of like a textured linen. They have nice metal pulls. The insides look really, really nice. So they are so pretty in your closet. So recently we did sort of a closet tear down. We pretty much tore the whole thing apart, started over, and these Ikea boxes were perfect. They're good size, hold a lot. I like you can organize them. They have labels on them. You can pull the little metal, metal handles. They're not gonna fall apart. Perfect addition to our closet. And now on to my little guy's bedroom. So a kid's bedroom, just to show you a couple of the things from Ikea we used in there. This is the Calyx unit. And we also use some of these baskets. I love these baskets, great quality, so cheap. But in his bedroom, we ended up installing not only floating shelves, but also a floating desktop for him. So that was a big change right there. But we used some of these Ikea items to help utilize the space so here's a look at his desk and you can see those baskets we used up there to help organize and hide things even the grass on this top shelf are from ikea too and they fit perfectly somehow or another was so surprised with that and then here is also the calyx unit that we used underneath his tv for his books and toys and his gaming system items i also wanted to draw some attention to the space underneath his desk because that little metal drawer unit is also from ikea too this has been great instead of having a drawer underneath his desk now he has several and he keeps all of his desk supplies in there. Fell in love with these great new baskets at Ikea. They are a set of two, great price point, only $9.99 for the set. I love that they are nesting, so they're two different sizes, but they're great with these lids to kind of use as hidden storage when you don't wanna necessarily see what you're keeping in there. So I grabbed these and specifically used one of them in our bathroom here. And I also think these would be great on a coffee table to kind of put either remotes in or eyeglasses in, things you wanna keep handy but maybe don't necessarily wanna see sitting out. All of these organization ideas and IKEA hacks have been huge game changers for our home and for our family, and I hope that they inspired you today as well. Make sure to check the description box below to links to some of the videos I mentioned throughout this video, specifically for the craft room, for the IKEA hack with the drawer and countertop unit, and the pantry. I will have that all linked down there below for you to make it a little bit more convenient. And I wanna thank you all so much for joining me today. Hit that thumbs up button. That helps out my channel so, so much. Subscribe if you are new as I have more IKEA hacks coming very soon, specifically a coat closet we're gonna be creating in our living room with the help of IKEA products. But thanks so much for joining me today. I will see you in the next one.